Well, hello, Stipe super fans. How are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day and perhaps this video will make it even more spectacular. I wanted to share with you a large unboxing. So I got today in the mail a giant box from one of my favorite consigners who always send such wonderful things and i know they're wonderful because as soon as i post them they go so i'm hoping that you enjoy this unboxing and perhaps see a temptation that calls to you because all of these things will be placed on the store in the next couple of days all right so this is going to be long i'm letting you know right now put your feet up grab a glass of red wine or disconnect now because this is going to be a while but let's get started either way all right let's go so I'm opening up the box, which I have pre-scored, and it's from Chewy. The box is from Chewy. The items inside are not from Chewy, but I, you know, as I you know, I love dogs and pugs and cats and all sorts of wonderful um, family pets. So this is a, a very auspicious beginning. Okay, I'm unwrapping the box, and it is a giant box with a giant waterproof bag of items. So let's... Let's get started. I feel like I'm unloading Santa's sack here. The consigner has told me these are items from the pre-war period, mid-century and onward. So let's see what we've got. Well, talk about starting off in a wonderful way for those folks who love artificial silk plush items. This is just beautiful. We have a white, white, that's interesting, a white Scotty with out of this delightful pre-war, post-war bridging artificial silk plush materials with a chest tag, ear tag, and a button. How lovely. Beautiful Scotty, head jointed, and a wonderful size. So that's the first one. Wow, it's hard to start with something so great. Let's see what else is in this fabulous box. Okay. Next, we have... Oh, this is lovely as well. Many of you know and love Stife's Standing Pandas, relatively rare on the secondary market with these wonderful felt pads. It's head jointed. He has his tag and his button and a really sweet face. How great is that? A wonderful mid-century treasure. Okay. And next we have, isn't this fun? Oh, how beautiful. People just love this guy. This is the larger size racy raccoon. He's got his chest tag. I love his expression. He's like, you know, mischief is on his mind. Just like mischief is on the mind of my pug girls who are at my feet going through the tissue paper. So I'm going to grab that. All right. Next up, we have. Oh, how lovely. This is a German Shepherd, the Arco. Lovely, no tongue, so very early. She's got the long trailing F button. Definitely pre-war and a lovely example. Original collar. And look at that smile. I love it. Beautiful, very authentic. Quite lovely and in beautiful condition. Aren't you lovely? You make me smile too. All right, beautiful. All right. Next up, we have oh, one of my favorite uh, po early mid century, early post war items. This is the smallest size, fully jointed Beppo Dachshund. And I love this guy. First of all, his size is great. Like, here's my hand. Oops, here's my hand. And here he is. So he's like the size of my hand. Look at this expression. Totally adorable. The ears are running, are like in the back, like I'm running to get to something. Probably dinner. Probably dinner. He's just in wonderful condition. He's got his ear tag, his chest tag. Oh, how wonderful. These are so adorable posed in the arms of smaller to medium-sized dolls from any era because they're just so adorable and so realistic looking. Okay. Next. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So here we have the uh, smallest size called Lumpy Dachshund. And it looks sort of similar, 
to the Beppo. See, they're kind of similar. I think they're cousins. But Beppo is fully jointed. Everything moves, moving and grooving. And this lumpy is just head jointed. Really lovely expression, also with the ears back and running with a happy tongue. Really beautiful chest tag, ear tag, and button. A wonderful, also wonderful companion for a smaller to medium-sized doll. Okay. How fun is this? I'm having a wonderful time. I hope you are as well. Okay, we're on to our next find. Okay, so this is called Dormy. And she's technically what's an edible dormouse. I really do not know what that means. It, it's some sort of beautiful rodent. She's got a delightful tail. She has her button and her chest tag. And I love the underside. She's just curled up. Looks incredibly comfortable. Wouldn't you just really love to be in this position and as comfortable and relaxed? And maybe even sleeping. Adorable. Lovely little edible dormouse. Dormy. Okay. Next we have, oh, wonderful. Okay, so this is the larger size Lumpy and Lumpy came in two sizes, this little guy boop, and the bigger guy. They're so cute together, like mother, daughter, totally adorable. Here's the larger size. You can see this wonderful coloring in the mouth. My goodness, it looks like it was made yesterday. Okay, she's got her button and a little traces of her ear tag and her chest tag and she's off to the races with her flying ears and delightful running expression. So mother, daughter, lumpy dachshunds. Next up, we have, this is Review Susie, the smallest size, very sweet. Look at those pouty eyes and the jowls, totally adorable. This guy is 12 centimeters and they came in a medium and a larger size. This is the smaller size. Very, very popular Cocker Spaniel, very sort of feminine and girly and sort of adorable. This also would be a fabulous companion for a doll at her feet. Very loyal, very adorable. This is one of my favorite very early post-war dog designs. This is Cocky the Cocker Spaniel. You can tell she's early. A red imprinted chest tag. Look at that delightful coloring and expression. Wow, it looks like she was made yesterday or she just ate some red jello. Look how bright and brilliant that is. That's all original. She has her blue bow. Very sweet. She's head jointed. Just adorable. I love this, this design. It has a very distinctive old-fashioned look to it. Very beautifully rendered, beautiful, high quality. And she has a Beautiful, beautiful expression. This guy's, again, real small, a little bit bigger than my hands, and would be delightful for a doll or a teddy as a best friend for life. Now we have these. Oh, no, this is special. This guy is Bernie, the German Shepherd, with his barrel which was made as a U.S. exclusive. And you know that because it has an 09 on the ear tag. And this is all original. He has his ear tag, button, barrel, and chest tag named. Just delightful. These are pretty rare. I haven't had very many of these at all. And this one is in gorgeous condition. Look at the facial expression. Really quite beautiful and all original. You don't see these terribly often. Now you can see why I love this consigner. She sends gorgeous things. I hope you're in love as I am. Okay. Moving on. Oh, these are very, very, very rare, seldom seen on the secondary market. This is the, um, this is a, Not a German Shepherd, not, not a German Shepherd, not a Great Dane. This is a St. Bernard. See what happens when you get old? It's in there. It just takes a while to come out. This is the St. Bernard. This is one of the larger, if not the largest size of the early post-war St. Bernard's. I'm sorry for the mind um, gap. Hmm. It's not the first time it's happened today. I love this design. Look at the face. And I love the way the nose is stitched with the red on the lips, 
really very beautiful. She has her button and her yellow ear tag and is in just lovely condition. I don't even have one of these in my collection. They're super rare and super beautiful. This is one of the more um, uh, harder to find very early post-war Stife dog designs, but simply a lovely example, spotlessly clean with lovely mohair. Okay, there's more, there's more. I know, can you believe it? Lovely. This is the standing bear cub. Lovely felt feet. Look at the expression. A beautiful face. She has her chest tag as her ID and her original green collar. I love these guys. The heads turn. And just really has a delightful, very old-fashioned kind of design. You can almost imagine this at the turn of last century on wheels. I think that's where the inspiration comes from. But simply lovely, wonderful airbrushing details. This one has a particularly wonderful face. It's very sort of toddler-esque. Adopt me, love me, of course. We're almost at the end. Thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Oops. So tiny, it almost slipped through the cracks. The absolute smallest, is this eight centimeters? It is. The absolute smallest, teeny tiny, pecky, peeky knees. Look how tiny you are. Look at the pouty face. I love this. This is, she's saying, feed me, feed me. She's in wonderful condition with all IDs. I love this design. This pecky, um, pecky debuted pre-war and after the war sort of got this makeover to look like this a little bit more contemporary and delightful this is the most perfect doll sized item to put in the arms of a doll or a treasured teddy as a companion how delightful very pouty who doesn't love a pouty dog beautiful and in lovely condition oh this is lovely too now this guy is super early i'll tell you why we have here a beautiful Bozzy standing. Now look at him. He's got his red imprinted dress tag, his teeny tiny U.S. zone tag, his button and ear tag and very early ear tag. This guy is from the late, very late 1940s, probably more early 1950s with this configuration, but a wonderful and beautiful and early example of Stipe's delightful Standing Bozzy Dachshund, adorable, just precious. Man, Stipe did a beautiful job, still does, but look at that, just fantastic. It's hard to believe your age and your condition, but it is what it is, and you look beautiful. All right, here we have. A newer example, but lovely nonetheless. This is an interpretation of Stipe's wonderful Molly dog from the mid 1920s with these beautiful eyes. She's got black eyes that are backed in light blue felt. How charming is that? They call her Molly 14, meaning 14 centimeters tall and really beautifully constructed. She's not jointed. Look at this face, very loyal. Put me next to somebody and I'll guard them with my life. Of course she will. Just beautiful. Newer edition, but sort of combining the best of all worlds types, lovely legacy designs and such, and beautiful new construction and aesthetic. And I think, oh, nope, I think wrong. I thought we were done, but we are not done. The magic continues. Ooh la la, I'm glad we found this. A lovely pre-war. This looks like a chow chow. You are just lovely. She's sitting, she's got her button and a little bit of your red ear tag. I believe this is one of the chow chows. Even the dogs are excited. You can hear them barking in the background. I've actually never handled a sitting beautiful one. She's got Traces of her original ribbon. And a lovely, look at this expression. Wonderful. I don't know if she's saying feed me, kiss me, or put me to bed. 
probably all of the above, but she's not jointed and she's sitting. And she has a lovely expression. It's a wonderful size, just a little bit bigger than my hand. Love her. I've never seen one of these before. Very special. All right. Well, surprises from beginning to end. Now, is that it? Nope. Sorry. Hmm. Oh, this is very sweet. We have a very early Arco. German Shepherd, the smallest size with the mohair muzzle, all IDs. Beautiful face, red collar. Looks a little confused. Well, I would be too if I was in a box mailed halfway across the country. But here you are. Beautiful. Her original collar and delightful expression. She's a little crooked. I love that. All handmade. Each one is a individual work of art, an individual piece of beauty. She was traveling with, coincidence or not, an earlier version of Arco, tiny, with a velvet muzzle. How beautiful is that? Steiff often used velvet on the earliest and on the earlier and smallest versions of their production because it has a very youthful, very delicate, a very baby-like appearance. I think this makes this little guy looks like a precious pup, which exactly he is. He has his button. And a wonderful expression. Great coloring. Just lovely. Two Arcos. German Shepherd. Delightful. Okay. Now, I think that's it except for this last piece. And this is in a box, so it is newer. It's from the from Teddy Bears of Whitney. So it came all the way across the pond. Let's see what it is. I'm opening it up. And here we go. Oh, look at this box. Beautiful in itself. It's like beautiful malachite looking. And what we have here, I believe, oh, wonderful. A teeny tiny teddy replica made as an exclusive for teddy bears of Whitney in, in near London. I've been there. It's a wonderful store. Go if you haven't. Put it on your bucket list. And here's what's magical about this. Can you hear that? It's a rattle bear. It's a replica rattle bear made exclusively for Teddy Bears Whitney. I believe I've only handled two or three of these in my entire life, my entire million year career. So these are really rare and really sweet. And this guy is in as new condition with every bit of paperwork and, and ephemera that he was produced with. Whew. Are you tired? I'm tired. That is our box for today. I hope that you've enjoyed the unboxing. Perhaps you've seen something that catches your eye that would be a good addition to your collection or not. I just wanted to share this experience with you because I knew there'd be some wonderful things in this box and the consigner has come through as always. She's a wonderful and loyal customer and I'm very grateful to have her in our family of consigners who is able to share beautiful things with you. So that's what I have for you. I guess it would be safe to say puppy hugs for now, since that's the vast majority of what we've unboxed. But I look forward to our next unboxing together. And until then, take care, be well, and goodbye for now.